Hello everyone, this is Simon Stevens from Inception Designs and I'm uh, excited to show you the new Drift pump kit that we've just released. On this gun, it, uh, this is on a Hornet, this is one of our new pump guns we just released. Um, and it's set up on this gun. We're actually using a extended reach platform. So it's the same front block that fits a mini cocker style body, but it actually is extended forwards to give you more spacing between the regulator and the grip frame, which makes for absolutely fantastic ergonomics. And then on this gun, because it's a full body length, it actually uses a standard full body length uh, pump arm. Let me swap you over to the uh, close up. So hopefully we can see a little bit better. So uh, this is the extended reach setup, full length pump arm. We have a fully fluted stainless steel guide rod, which is machined out inside for a increased volume chamber. We have uh, special bushings. Where's the little parts gone? Uh, da, 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 da. There it is. We have special bushings inside the pump plate, which are PTFE infused Delrin for ultra low friction. These are only four hundred thousandths long, so that only touches for four hundred thousandths in the uh, front of the pump handle, which means you get very very little friction. Uh, these are also replaceable, so that it's very easy. You can just press them out, put another one in there. The pump plate uh, as standard comes without the Hitman mod, but we do also have one with the Hitman mod available as an option. Um, that actually comes with the PTFE bushings already installed as well. The uh, anti-twist rod is stainless steel. It also has a uh, set screw, uh, sorry, an, an Allen key end to it to make it really easy to install. The pump handle itself is uh, Delrin. These are um, available open source files. So you can actually download your own pump handle and replace it with any different design. There's already many different designs available via the inceptionforums.com. Some really cool stuff there. People were making them with Picatinny handles, one like a, almost an organic basket weave. All sorts of fun stuff going on there. The front block mounting system is the only piece that changes when you put the kit onto different guns. All of these components stay the same. So you can buy these separately, but you will also have these available in 2K plus to fit guns that have the uh, VASA bolted onto the gun body. We also have them in Empire Sniper slash Empire Resurrection. So you can put a pump kit onto one of uh, Empire's snipers or their resurrection guns. And that one will also fit onto the WGP Carnival body and give you the full length. The only difference is on a Empire gun, you'll actually put a mid block length pump arm onto it. And all of our mid-block pump arms actually come with a Delrin sled as well. If you're putting that onto a WGP Carnivore, you simply use the full-length body pump arm. Um, comes with the auto-trigger pivot pin already installed into the rod, so it's completely set up and ready to go. When you install it into the gun, you need to make sure that the pivot pin from the point from here to the back of the gun body is approximately 4.8 inches and then your auto trigger cam system and everything should work it is compatible obviously with the inception frames but that dimension and setup is also compatible with uh, other frames on the market such as ccm so that's a quick overview of the kit now i'm going to show you uh, how to install it actually maybe we should make that a second video so this isn't too long check back for the second video uh, if you like what we're doing subscribe if uh, you have any questions about the pump kits or any of our guns, post them in the comments below. Thank you very much.